Welcome to this week's G.I. Joe Toy Review, where we are looking at uh, all G.I. Joes for the month of November, and we are looking at Beachhead, and uh, the 50th anniversary Beachhead. But before we get to Beachhead, let's do our shout-outs of the week. First, we'll be uh, back to the media at 48 South Loudoun Street here in Winchester, Virginia. So definitely go and check out Beachhead. Or not be tip, but go ahead and check out Back to the Media because you can get all your video game needs from the Atari all the way up to current systems and all points in between. So definitely check them out. And while you're in the neighborhood, go ahead and check out 115 South Loudoun Street, which is the home of Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles. We can get all your G.I. Joe and Transformers and He Man and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Thundercats, all points in between. And I actually did pick this guy up in his three-pack from uh, Time Travelers, which is the Viper's Pit, which came with a Cobra Trooper I already looked at, as well as a Viper Officer, which I've already looked at in Viper Month. So uh, this rounds up the trio of this set in Beachhead, which is the good guy uh, in this pack. And uh, so definitely te- check out Time Travelers and get some good toys and collectibles there. And tell Charles and Mark sent you, you know, so uh, when you go in there, you know, so that way he knows his advertisements are not going unheard. But uh, this this go on to 80 Weems Lane if you're looking for comic books. And you can get them there at 80 Weems Lane, which is the address of that uh, Four Color Fantasies, which is a awesome, awesome comic book shop. And, uh, Definitely check them out for all your comic book needs. And while you're in the area and you're hangering for some Jamaican food, may I suggest going to Tropical Islands on Piccadilly Street, right across the street from Hanley Library. Hey, Winchester's your one-stop town to get everything you need. (laughs) So uh, for all your fun activity stuff and get some good eats. But definitely check out uh, Lloyd and his wonderful staff at Tropical Islands for some yummy Jamaican food. And uh, if you're looking for a bank to go to, may I suggest Bank of Clark or United Bank. Both of them are good banks to go to, good banking needs. So definitely check them out. And if you're in the area and you need some mental health help, and this channel does support uh, mental health awareness, so may I check out, so may I tell you to go and check out Healing Grace Counseling Services at 133 West Piscowan Street, Suite Number 10, and see Healing Grace and Dr. Robert C. Brown. Even though he's not a doctor in real life, but he plays one on he plays one in real uh, on TV. Uh-huh. At least that's what he says. But um, he's a good guy, good listener. But if he doesn't have what you're looking for, may I suggest uh, um, Northwestern Community Services and definitely check them out. You get peer group counseling and. Uh, case management and all kinds of stuff. So definitely check them out. And uh, if you're looking for insurance, may I suggest State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And hey, if you call him, he might speak to Jake. You never know. But let's go ahead and look at uh, Beachhead, which his file card does come in a baseball card type. But this this three-pack came when it was attached to the box because as you can see, the plain brown backing right there. You know, and it says on there, Ranger, codename Beachhead. And it's got the 50th anniversary logo, picture of Beachhead right there. File name, Sneeden Wayne R. Primary military specialty infantry, secondary specialty small arms armor. Very similar to Duke that we looked at last week. Very, very similar. Birthplace is Auburn, Alabama, grades E8. Beachhead was a lane instructor. At the range at the at the ranger school at Fort Benning, and then observer advisor at the covert op school in Central America. <clears throat> He's meticulous, patient, and strong-willed. He likes getting up at 0600 hours to take a 10-mile run and PT physical training session before breakfast. He enjoys squatting motionless beside a jungle trail. For three days straight, waiting to ambush bad guys who might never show up. What he hates are people who aren't interested in doing their best. Qualified expert at 
NATO and Warsaw Pact small arms, which does take a lot out. You know, speaks a lot about uh, Beachhead. But what it doesn't mention is his lack of wearing of deodorant. <laughs> if y'all remember the cartoon and the original Beachhead when he was first introduced. But let's take a look at the rest of his accessories. Figure stand, codename Beachhead. Uh, G.I. Joe upraised logo with the gold on the front. I kind of like that style. He also has a, a backpack with a rope on his with the rope attached to the bottom. You know, nice little pouches, whatnot on it. And he also comes with this bow, uh, crossbow, which could actually attach to the backpack, which is two separate pieces, which is pretty cool. He's got a assault rifle. He's got a hand pistol, kind of like the one Duke came with last week, that we saw last week. He's got a knife and his ammo pouch, which is pretty cool. And let's take a look at b -Tad. As you can tell, this infamous green bala balaclava mask. His uh, Ranger's hat, right? Red Ranger's hat. He's got ammo clips on the front. You know, keeps himself stocked with ammo. And the green shirt, which matches the same material as his balaclava mask. And he's got his camo, brown camo uh, pants with black pouches on the sides. Holster right there. Uh, knife holster. Black boots. You know, let's just take a look at his articulation. As you can see, he's got a lot of wiggly waggly. Head does take a 360. Arm can reach about there. Good range of motion to do a 360 all the way around. His elbow can bend as well as swivel. And he can swivel at the wrist. You know, he does have the ab crunch, but you know, the good gear kind of enters it. His legs can, we can do a full split. Leg can lift up to here. Double knee joint. His ankle can pivot. As well as swivel the full 360. You know, and whatnot. So let's take a look at Beachhead all geared up. So here's Mr. Beachhead all geared up. Which I actually like the 50th version, 50th anniversary version better than the 25th anniversary comic two pack that he came with uh, Data Frame, or as, as old school G.I. Joe has known as Mainframe. You know, but it's still a cool looking figure. I mean, uh, each one has his own standout differences. I mean, like, BJ does have the removable clips on his ammo belt and on the, on the assault rifle. You know, but uh, each one just has his own little trait, traits that make them better. This is more of a cartoon accurate version, though. But uh, comes with all cool weapons. Uh, we all know Beachhead is a like fourth in command in the field command line of uh, the G.I. Joe team. With Ghost Hawk, then Duke, then Flint, then Beachhead. You know, so it's pretty cool. But, uh,. You know, and of course, G.I. Joe is always there to defend, and Beachhead is right there with it. But uh, this has been Beachhead, and tune in next week to see another G.I. Joe figure, 50th anniversary version. And tune in Sunday to see a new Transformer figure from the Revenge of the Fallen movie. So definitely go ahead and check them out. And uh, as for Beachhead, this has been Cobra Island. This has been a Beachhead episode, and now you know, and knowing it's after battle. See you in the next one. Peace.